Hey everyone, so as you can see from the title in this video, I wanted to, to not talk a, specifically about a topic in space um, or science. I wanted to talk about why I'm actually doing this and why I think this is important and why people should be doing this. Um, space exploration is incredible and it's about finding out who we are as a species and as creatures of this universe. But it's so much more than that. It brings things back down to Earth that we might have never found on our planet um, the, the creation of the cause for. Um, for instance, cancer. For instance, diseases. For instance, our medical technology. There's so many things that were figured out and discovered through scientists that work for NASA, that work for space agencies around the world. Um, space isn't just something that unites us as a species, it's something that um, has actually been able to advance all of us. Uh, for instance, I mean I've used this and I learned this when I was at uh, NASA headquarters in Washington DC defending the NASA bill last year um, to Congress. I learned that when the Hubble Space Telescope went up into space, the images were all coming back blurry. There was an image resolution problem. So NASA got together all of its best software engineers and figured out how to correct the lens, how to correct the issue. Through that technology, we were then able to adapt that into modern day mammograms and detect breast cancer very, very early in the stages, um, one of, of our breast cancer patients. And that just blew my mind because so many people don't know that. So many people don't know the technology that's actually come out of these space agencies and space exploration and scientists. And when I was in college and I was studying astrophysics, um, I was going for my degree. I was going haul, haul head into it, you know, like really intense. And I was um, under a NASA space grant one summer when I was studying at the Hayden Planetarium. And I would spend eight to nine hours a day doing my research, coding, going through data. Um, it was some of the most intense days of my life that I can even remember. So by the end of the day, I was exhausted. Last thing I wanted to do was just eat and go to sleep. You know, like that was that was my that was the first thing I wanted to do. The last thing I wanted to do was you know do this, talk about it, talk about what my research is, why it's actually helping people, why more people should not only take interest in it, but want to pursue a career in it, influence their children to want to pursue a career in it, and understand who to vote for in the government, for instance, that actually can bring more of a strength to the sciences. Because the science, science is, is us. It's understanding our molecular makeup. It's our atomic structure. It's not just about, you know, something that was created by man, economics, money, greed. It was, it's something that just exists. You know, you can't just, you, we have to discover more of it. You can't just ignore it. It's there. And so I feel like the more people that make this realization, and instead of numbing the fact that you don't understand it, so I'm going to just put it over there, maybe because you had a bad experience when you were in elementary school and you were failing in your classes or you were doing bad in math. I went through all of that. I was in remedial algebra in college. And a lot of people don't know that. But at the same time, I started taking calculus. And then after that, I was able to get a scholarship from NASA. And I was able to like, learn and actually conduct research and give a presentation to, to astrophysicists. And I was able to discuss topics with Neil deGrasse Tyson. He was able to help aid me in my decision because at the same time, I was pursuing dance. I was a split major between theater and physics with a minor in astronomy and dance. And a lot of people have this in them, but they feel that from a young age, from the structure of school, that you have to pursue just one path, and you don't. You really don't. There's a way down the line, our lives are so long, you can find a way to tie those worlds together. And that's exactly what I'm doing, that's why I started my YouTube channel. I left my degree when I was about 19, 20 years old, I was turning 20. Uh, because I got scouted for America's Next Top Model. And I ended up not going and doing a competition, but that summer, I ended up getting scouted by two different agencies, traveled the world for seven years. I'm super grateful for that, very happy, and I became an international model. Um, I also pursued acting. Um, I right away jumped into getting three waivers to join SAG. Um, I went, I'm not SAG though, um, I went into doing all these amazing TV shows. I worked in the television industry, in the entertainment industry. Um, I was a stand for the Rockettes. I did a lot of competitions. I was doing dancing and I've learned so much through it 
that I've come to realize that if we take everything that there is in the entertainment industry, I mean, I was at the Golden Globes the other night working that, and the awareness that is brought to the, the general public, the millions of people that there are, um, just from one person making a stand against something, an issue that is that needs to be noticed and recognized and fought against, um, or even put in the light, in the, in the light for once in a while, in the spotlight, that makes a huge transformation to the world. And I guess I realized that I, I'm not huge in the industry. I'm not, you know, Leonardo DiCaprio, who's working with NOAA to, to fight climate change. NOAA is the National Oceanic Atmospheric Association. Um, that's incredible. That's amazing. But I thought, you know what, maybe there's something that I can do to try and bring some type of awareness, talk about space in a really easy, fun way so that people, both kids and adults, maybe adults that haven't even talked about science in, in years, can understand it and say, you know what, let me talk about this, let me bring an awareness to this. Let me talk about how frequently humans are exploring the cosmos, how frequently we're having rocket launches. To me, when I saw that SpaceX launch a couple weeks ago, I was in New York, and I saw all these posts of people in LA that had no clue that it was a rocket. And there was a three car collision on the 405 because people freaked out. They were too busy looking at it, they thought it was, it was aliens or they thought that the rocket broke. I, I mean, a few people did think it was a rocket launch. And the first thing I thought was, I can't blame them for their ignorance or, or I can't blame them for not knowing. I don't want to use their word ignorance because it's, it's just that they, they, they weren't aware because they weren't informed because they don't research it. I, I mean, I won't even know about stuff if I didn't spend, you know, the hours looking through um, old, like, archives of data or looking through websites, looking through news websites. Um, but a lot of people don't do that. You know, a lot of people are on social media and a lot of people like to turn to their favorite celebrity and see what they're up to. Um, but instead of worrying more about what, you know, I said this in an Instagram rant recently, instead of worrying about what makeup line is, is hitting Sephora next week, understanding more about what we can achieve as a human species I think is so much more important and that should be put to more of an awareness and so when I started this YouTube channel I started with the episode on centripetal acceleration which is pretty simple it's literally when you're spinning uh, you have a spinning object and when the radius uh, is decreased it accelerates and this is all over the world this is in our planet this is I mean it's like when you're in a swing and you're, you're creating the torque to be a lot more um, intense when you're twirling the chains and then you, you're spinning, your arms and legs are out and then you pull them in and you start accelerating. It's in that. It's also in our, our planets, in our solar system, it's in our, the celestial bodies like in the moon, um, pulling on the earth and it's everywhere. And the reason I use that topic was because my very first astronomy professor in college, Dr. Liu, used that for his very first topic. And everyone in the room just stopped and listened. Everyone was like, wow, that was like so cool. It made so much sense. I can't believe I wish you were my science teacher when I was in elementary school. I would probably be a physics major. There were seven physics majors in my school. I was one of them. And I was like, wait, what? That's it? And there was like over three or 400 probably communication majors. Um, maybe over a thousand like business majors and I was like what is happening you can learn about business through everything that you're doing in your science courses I mean you can learn about business on your own you can learn about it from experience from working in a company you can learn about communication by talking to people getting out in the world I didn't study communications but here I am a science communicator and that's because I spent enough years being around people being around cameras being around stage productions and learning what attracts the audience and through this, I've become very dedicated and starting today, I am extremely, starting actually a year ago, I started this YouTube channel, I dedicated to myself and the world, the science community and all of my subscribers out there to really try and convey the importance of science in our lives and in our future and in our children and why more of us should be doing this. I mean, I could have easily just continued, you know, with my modeling career, traveling the world, doing all this stuff, but I was like, I am itching to learn more. I want to do more stuff and I'm not currently in school because I am still full time pursuing my career um, in, the si in, in the arts and um, the entertainment industry. And I love it. I think it's great. I think it's amazing. I'm not at all bashing it. But I think that we all need to learn that there needs to be more of a, 
a, a bridge between these worlds. Um, and so starting today, I actually want to start, a, a, I guess, another challenge. So about a year ago, I did a challenge with Instagram where um, they were only allowed to do 60 second videos on Instagram. So I asked all my followers to leave comments of different suggestions of topics in um, astrophysics and that I would try my best to explain it in 60 seconds. So now I want to do a challenge with my YouTube subscribers. Every single week, I, I'm going to take one of your comments of a different suggestion um, of a topic, and I'm going to try my best to teach it, to teach it to myself. I'm going to try my best to learn the topic, teach it to myself, and then through simple demonstrations, I want to try and convey it to my audience, to you guys. I know some of you guys are already got your degree, some of you are practicing physics students, some of you are you know, PhD candidates, some of you are already professors, but some of you are children, some of you are um, people my age that aren't actually in the sciences right now, some of you are my friends that are in the modeling industry or in the fashion industry, and I love you all for, for watching this. Um, and so I want to try and find a way to get through to everyone in a very simple, fun, easy way, but also in a very important way and how to tie it back down into us as humans and why it's important and why we should be caring about this stuff. Um, I'm probably going to start with solid rocket boosters and the, mechan the mechanics of it. Um, I'm actually trying to learn mechanics right now. It's been a while. It's been a while since I've done math and I'm trying to work on that right now. And so that's probably going to be my first topic. I'm going to aim to do that for next week, but I, I'm going to be doing this every single week. And I want to see how far I can get in one year and see just what I can do to try and just bring an awareness um, to, to science and why we should be learning this. Because otherwise I wouldn't be taking my time out if I didn't think this was important to put my whole career on hold in, in acting and in modeling, uh, which would be the kind of the easy, not the easy way out, but with modeling, it was working, it was doing great, but I, this is so important, and this is why I decided to get into this. So, I'm sorry this is a very long video, uh, but I just felt like it was a little important to kind of go over all this with you guys, um, as far as why I'm even doing this, and uh, I hope you guys are all really excited, and I hope you're all doing amazing things. I know you all are. I love this community that we've built here on Instagram, um, and YouTube, and Facebook, and everything. Um, the science community is so strong, and we're so supportive of each other, and I think that the science community now needs to intertwine with all the other communities out there in the world. All the makeup artists, all the fashion designers, everyone. I think that there needs to be a huge move forward in science and technology and we all really need to start to just evolve more, revolutionize. So thank you so much again for watching guys and um, I will talk to you all soon. Um, I do want to announce a couple pretty cool things. I am very grateful. I am now one of the co-hosts for the, the TMRO show. It's the TMRO science show, which is a branch off of the TMRO show, which talks about space launches, um, all the different rocket launches that there are. So that's going to be about once a month. Um, on Saturday and um, starting next week uh, hopefully a couple of my videos will be coming out I've teamed up with Seeker as one of their hosts um, to talk about different topics in science and space as uh, Seeker for the, some of you guys that don't know on YouTube they were known as D News from the Discovery Channel and now they are Seeker which is pretty exciting so I'm gonna be on there talking about different space stuff so if you guys want to check that out that would also be really cool I'll probably be hyperlinking the videos um, it's just like I said all about advocating science getting the, the community to care more about this stuff and how to explain it easily and in a really cool way that is important so that can help evolve our future as, as a human race. But anyway, okay, I'm done ranting. That's it. I'm done. I don't have my coffee cup here to, to drink some coffee. So um, have a great day, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Wow. Okay, 15 minutes.